Not every player is naturally a good defender. So you have to come up with your own solutions, your own hacks to be able to figure this out. Because no matter how much you don't like it, defending is a key part of playing football. So in this video, I'll tell you all the hacks that I came up with to survive the game on the field. So I think one of the first thing you can do to admit that you're terrible at defending. So I decided to think about all the things I do that I avoid looking like I'm the worst defender on the field. And admitting that you are bad at defending. What this will do is to allow you to realize and understand your weaknesses. Whether you're slow or you are physically weak or you just scared to get into a tackle or stuff like that. So I think the first hack that you need to follow before every game as an attacking player who wants to improve their defending is to always observe the opposition. This could be during their warm-up, anything like that, or even looking at the players sometimes, you will be able to observe if they're fast, if they're strong. This will help you to use one of these hacks, which I'll be talking about. The next hack is if you're defending against a very fast player. Fast players likes to get really tight to you, so you make the first move. Because they are so fast, while you're trying to make the first tackle, that person is fast so they can actually take a touch and go around you very quickly. So what you want to avoid is to make the first tackle. If I were you defending a fast person, I would be right in front of the attacking fast player and I would be really trying to giving myself that space where you're not letting the opposition get tight to you and you're being very patient. No matter what happens, you don't make the first move because if you make the first move, a fast player can easily eliminate you. Also, being patient against a very fast player, this will waste some time for you to be able to bring back some of your defenders let's say the opposition switched the ball very quick to your side to the fast player when the ball is switched and you're defending this player now you're killing the time where you're inviting some of your teammates to help you out in case if this player goes around you. Since this player that you're defending is very quick, these types of players are very good at, even if they have a bad first touch, they're still gonna be able to get to the ball before you can. So that's why the spacing in between you and the opposition is incredibly important because they are very good at timing their dribbling abilities, observing their weak foot or dominant foot, whether if they can use both of their feet. So, because ideally, when you're defending an opposition, you want them to go wide instead of coming in the central channel. So you giving them that channel that goes out wide, which is ideally what you wanna do. It's also very important how you position your body as well, which obviously, if you wanna force them out wide, you wanna position your body where your body closes the inside channel and you're hinting them, you want them to go outside. And this is less danger and you gain more time inviting your teammates over to tackle this person. The third hack is defending against the strong players. I don't think there's a specific method that you can do to defend against a strong player. You do not want to get close to the opposition when you're defending a strong player because getting closer to strong players, they're gonna win all the battles, shoulder to shoulder, whatever kind of battles you're going, headers or anything like that. So you want to avoid that close contact. Potentially the strong players are slower players because they are a little bigger in size. This will allow you to potentially make a tackle from a slight distance where they're not going to be as quick as you when you're defending so you can actually maybe take a risk to make the first tackle and maybe win the ball also if you are skinnier player like myself we have a very bony features so your elbows are bony your hips are bony so you need to learn to use these features of your body where you can actually stick your hips out but as the strong players is coming 
close to you that you might slightly hurt them where they won't want to get into too much tackling or too much challenges with you because they're going to be in slight pain. I do this a lot myself personally where if a strong player is coming to me I really stick my hip out where this will kind of give them enough impact so they won't bother me that much. And the next hack is to defending against strong and fast players. Obviously, this means trouble. So you want to avoid getting close or getting into physical challenges because they are strong and fast. So you really want to keep your distance from these types of players. You want to be even more patient than only defending against a fast player because being more patient defending these types of players will, as I said, will bring the help over and you're not going to be the only one challenging these types of opposition. Your goal in your head when you're defending against fast and strong players is to really waste as much time as possible where you invite most of your teammates over to help you out. The fifth hack is to defend against very technical players. So in my opinion, defending against a very technical player is the most challenging one out of all these. Because these types of players, you never know what they're gonna do. You don't know when they're gonna pass. You don't know if they're gonna play simple or you don't know if they're gonna send an incredible true ball or shoot from a miles away. That's why compared to all the other hacks, when you are defending a technical player, you have to be as annoying as possible towards them. Not just annoying, as well as slightly aggressive. So you are really frustrating these types of players where when, as you know, when people get frustrated, you can't think as straight as you would when you're free. Because giving these types of players an inch will make them have an incredible decision when it comes to them actually distributing the play. You might also want to be slightly dirty as well. Touch their bodies or just slightly kick them a little bit so there they just get frustrated and they're not doing what they really want to do. So here I gave you five important hacks that can turn your defensive abilities around. But remember, you're still not the greatest defender on the field. So you need to always acknowledge that, that you're not the best defender out on the field. So you can actually come up with your own solutions because as you get more experience, you're just gonna end up coming up with your own plan. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel with the notifications on. You can always find my playlist right over here and you can also check out my Patreon link in the description where we can have more chat about this kind of stuff when it comes to football and I will see you in the next one.